woke up and just felt right Phone blown like a tailpipe Today's schedule airtight I turn a short day into a long night See you soon if you got Hello everybody, this is me again This is part 3 Um Of me finishing My uh, dress up I'm just gonna do the front part The rest of the front part today As you can see I started here And I started here I need to complete this one And I need to do these two so I'm going to show you guys how I started with these two. Although I'm not finished, um, once I'm done with everything today, it'll be finished. And I have to do the tall dresser and the side table. So this just to show you guys how you can do the same thing. Uh, I may not do all of them today, but this is just to show you how you can do this as well. Um, so let me get everything prepared. You need mirrors. You need a hammer, you need a mask, you need some type of gargles or either some glasses to break protect your eyes. You need glue, and this is non-sanded grout. It says for grout joints up to one and a half inches, whatever that may mean, but I'm going to use it. I don't know how many inches I'm going up. I doubt if it's even an inch. But, um, yeah. So this, you just add water to it, stir it up in a smaller container. And I don't have a, uh, oh, I can't think of the name, but, but the little flat tool that you use to put grout down, I don't have that. So I'm going to substitute it today with a card, an old card of mine. So that should work too, as long as I can spread it out, right? Alright, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and break up the glass and then I'm going to start uh, on this second one over here. So hold on, here we go. So I found a piece of cardboard. As you can see, I already have some broken mirrors pieces in there already. So you take the mirror. We had uh, one spot this out the year, frame. About thirty acres. That when we and this is actually been cracked. This is one of the reasons why I said don't use this as plate settings or anything that you have to put weight on. Um, you need to be real careful with Dollar Tree uh, mirrors and the frame, uh, picture frames, because the glass is really thin. Actually, the glasses that you drink out of are really thin. So just be careful with a lot of Dollar Tree items. I'm taking the mirror, this one, like I said, was already broken, so I'm taking this out, and I'm going to break this, and uh, I'll be on my way, alright? So just hold on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the draw out, and, uh, well, actually, I can leave it right here, and start gluing the pieces on. Uh, let me move this around so you see me do this better. So I'm pretty comfortable today. I uh, actually got on my PJs and chilling around the house, doing nothing, listening to some music. Hope you guys can hear me pretty good. I hope the music isn't that loud. You, you know, you find where you want to put the pieces.
this is Elma glue that I'm using and it stick pretty good so and you can buy this one from a Dollar Tree you get two of those for a dollar and they work um, actually I paint better than the Elma's glue and it dries clear This might be a project you want to do on one of them lazy days you ain't got nothing to do and you want to beautify your house and make it look pretty and you just got time on your hand to do that. I think this would be a great way to get that done. Get the day. some great things happen in your home. Okay, you can make these as close as you want to or as far as way if you want to. It's, it's your decision, but I'm kind of mediocre. Um, I'm not going to do a lot, 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 you know, and jam it up kind of like the little spaces um, I did in this one. So I decided I'd do this one the same way. Now I kind of let you see the gist of what I'm doing. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to kind of fast forward on some things. I'm going to go ahead and do this and start on the next one and uh, possibly the fourth one as well. Then I'll come back and let you see how I put the grout in and that'll be uh, most of what I got to do. All right. So, hold on, and plus I want to make this all long and drawn out where you guys see me put every piece on here. It's just, it's just not necessary. Alright, 
So hold on. And okay. I will I'm back and now I'm gonna take the screws um out of the handles and I mix my my little stuff together uh the uh I know what it's called, I just can't think of it right now. But I've mixed it together. Uh, as soon as I think of it, I'll let you know what it is. Uh, and I'm about to put it on the face of the drawer front. And I'm going to let that dry. I've done all four drawers. I guess you can see that. I mirrored all four drawers. So next is to put the uh, grout. That's what it is. The grout on. So that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, I mixed it um, with water and then it said wait 10 minutes and mix it again so that's what I did. So it's sitting here and it's sticking it up just after the second mix. Okay, taking the screws out. Guess I should have did this before I came back. Okay, all the screws and everything out. So now, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put these screws right here. Alright, here we go. Let's see how this works out. I had some popsicle sticks, so that helped me um, use as a uh, stirrer. You kind of lumpy. I want to do it supposed to be lumpy, y'all. Do it supposed to be smooth, but it's smooth now that I'm putting it on. I've actually did something like this before. Uh, I was uh, helping uh, rebuild an apartment, a remodel apartment. And uh, we did something similar like this, so it was pretty easy then. I think that's helping me uh, put this grout on now. Kind of going over it and where it's real lumpy at, I'm picking that extra stuff up and spreading it out.
And the cord is working fine, believe it or not. Now I'm just scraping a little excess off of the glass. Sort of like ice in a cake. Slide this one to the side. I'm gonna do this one. I um did this one with some stuff I got from the Dollar Tree, but uh, it turned out pretty good. But I could still feel the uh, the glass where I broke the glass. I could still feel like the little sharp edges. So shouldn't take that much to fill this in. Okay, let me do the same thing again. Card is working pretty good, y'all. <laughs> and I can't use it no more. I'd be a little mad. But I forgot to pick up a um, spatula or a trowel or whatever they call it. I think it's called a trowel.
Yeah, I think this is it, y'all. Looking good. I like doing DIYs, but I don't do everything from the Dollar Tree, y'all. I think we should venture out and do other stuff, too. The Dollar Tree is good, but, uh, I mean, there's just other things to do uh, that's already in your house. Yeah, all you have to do is just go buy whatever you need to complete it. And, uh, and I think you will appreciate whatever it is more than it. Been always trying to run to the Dollar Tree and you know spending all your money in the Dollar Tree, that's good too. But uh, try something different every now and then. You know, tackle that bedroom, tackle that living room wall, tackle that bathroom, uh, all the other stuff. You know, that's just you know like accents. You, you can you can get one. Get your walls painted or get that uh dresser uh fixed up or hang that mirror you always wanted on your wall. So yeah. There's just so much more to do. I mean I started off doing the little Dollar Tree things too. But I knew I was going to graduate to this stuff because this is what I really like doing. I like uh, modifying things and changing them. Uh, I like beautifying stuff. And I feel like I have accomplished something. When I tackle stuff like this, and me being a woman, you know, don't have no man help. <laughs> but it's all good. If you got a man that'll help you, this that's great. Okay, I'm gonna let these dry, and then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna actually uh, do the other two, and wait on those to dry. When I come back, I'm gonna wipe this down, and we're gonna see uh, what our final product look like. All right. Alright. Okay, finally I'm uh, at the last part of doing my dresser. I still have to do the um, the four drawer dresser and the nightstand. But this is what the dresser with the mirror looks like. Um, it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I did use the uh, grout to fill in the parts of where the mirrors are um, just so they'll have stability and stay in place. Um, I do need to wipe them down and so it'll look cleaner but it wasn't that easy. Uh, when it dried, some of the places I had some little uh, lumps from uh, mixing the stuff together. So you have to make sure this stuff is like uh, put, and that's something I didn't do. I should have made sure that it was like the consistency of uh, pudding, and I didn't do that. Or I had lumps in it, so uh, when it dried, I had to scrape those lumps out, and that wasn't easy. Uh, the water, uh, if you do it right, that's all you need is water to wipe the mirrors and a dry cloth come behind it to clean them up and you're finished with it and it does it, it is pretty once once you do everything so i'm gonna go ahead and clean this last mirror um and let's see how easy it is to clean um uh, when it's done right i just didn't do mine right okay okay so you can see how easy clean up and this is not wet, this is dry. So, I just want you guys to see how easy it clean up. Like this one right here. Um, see, I had to use my nail to get that grout out for it. 
And it may take just a little water. So I'm going to wet this and then use a dry cloth behind it. Because uh, I feel like I'm working backwards, even though I'm still working. It just looks so good when it cleans up. It really does. Okay, hold on again. Okay, here I go. So it ought to be like a little fine dust. Um, once you uh. Once it's dry and you uh, get ready to clean it up, um, see how clean it get. How nice it clean up. With the dryer after you uh, use the water. So like this one right here, still got. So I had to use a little force to get this off and shouldn't have been like that. But if you do do yours and it come out like this, just Put a little force behind it and it'll come right off. Put the handles back on. Or I just need to tighten them up. But uh, I'm liking the way this look. I'm 
edit this up a little bit more because that's just giving me a little time to get that off. This, you can hear the little firecrackers and stuff popping in the background. I got my dog scared to death. He is darn near sitting on my back. Y'all can't see him, but he is directly behind me because he's scared of firecrackers. Sounds. Poor thing. <laughs> he's shaking like a leaf off a tree. I just learned if I had a harness or something to uh, put around him, um, he wouldn't be so scarified. But uh, what I did is I took an old sock and I cut the toe part off of it because he's a small dog. And uh, it was a footy. And it was one of my son's, one of my son's old socks. And I cut the foot off of it. And slid it over his body and cut two little slits so I could, you know, put his little arms through it. And, um, uh, I kind of opened up the where it fit around your ankle. I opened that up a little bit more where to fit on his head and he seemed pretty good with that, y'all. So, just a suggestion. If you don't have a harness and, you know, your little dog is scared of the firecrackers, well, if you got a big dog, uh, take a scarf and tie it around him, um, like a harness, and it'll soothe him. But that has helped him because he was shaking. He's not shaking as bad as he would. But he is definitely under me. All right, y'all. That's me right now. I really like it. it. Turned out great. So I got tall dresser 
and uh, uh, side table to do. It took um, a mirror and like a fourth of a mirror to do each draw. So one, two, three, four, five mirrors to do four draws. So I got to get five more mirrors because I got to do four more draws. So when I get everything completed, um, I'll show you all, all of it together. But right now, this is what I have done and I'm loving it and I'm liking it. And I hope you guys like it too. Remember, mirrors from the Dollar Tree, wrap from uh, Home Depot, and water, and a hammer, some goggles to protect your eyes, and something to break the mirrors up in. And, hey, go for it. Let me see what you do. All right? Show me something like this that you guys want to do. Uh, I have done. I would love to see it. All right. Okay. That's it.